What's up everybody, Mark with Vortex here. Gonna talk to you today about my elk hunting optics kit. Now I primarily bow hunt elk in September. There's something magical about the animals that time of year, and there's something magical about the mountains and the woods that time of year that I absolutely can't get enough of. Now I primarily hunt the thick timber country of the Pacific Northwest. And honestly, for that, you don't need a ton of glass. And I might be glassing 20, 30, 40, 50 yards just trying to catch a glimpse of that bull or that herd in the timber. To do that, I run our Razor UHD 10x42 binoculars. Now this is a top tier alpha class binocular. It's got stunning optical quality and it gets the job done every time I need it to. Now you might say, well, you're not really looking that far. Do you really need 10 power? Maybe you should go with an eight. And you might be right. I just find the 10 power to be the most versatile of the configurations. So that's why I go with that. And I use it generally for most of my hunts. For a rangefinder, I'm running the Razer HD 4000 rangefinder. Now, obviously I use it to range animals when needed, but more often than not, I'm using it as a secondary optic. I keep it clipped to my harness at the ready. So if I need to take a quick look at something or, or find out like, oh, is that a stick or is that an elk leg? I can discreetly, when I'm in the timber at close range, lift that to my eye and get a visual on whatever that object might be. Hopefully it's an elk, and then I end up using the ranging capability. Honestly, that really rounds out my elk hunting optics kit on the archery side of things. Now, occasionally I'll hunt more open country, maybe you're, you know, Western states like Montana, Colorado like that, where you can see a little bit more. Now I'm gonna bring a tripod, and I might only bring a tripod and my binoculars, sometimes I'm gonna integrate the spotting scope. And if I'm gonna bring a spotting scope into the backcountry on one of those hunts, I'm gonna go with the Razor HD 11 to 33 by 50. It's lightweight, it's weighing in at about 25 ounces. It's really not a weight penalty to pack with you, and it can be a huge asset. I brought up bringing the tripod for my binoculars. One thing I omitted, the Pro Bino Adapter. It's lightweight, it's fast, and it is one of the best Bino adapters on the market for tripod glassing, which I always say, if you can do, do it. It's gonna make you a better glasser. Now we talked a lot about bow hunting today. Occasionally I do pick up the rifle. And when I do, it's gonna be topped with a Razer HD LHT 3 to 15 by 42. This is one of the most versatile, fully featured long range scopes on the market in a lightweight, compact package. It's got a low end of three power, a top end of 15. It's gonna get you through any scenario in the elk woods you're gonna encounter. It's got an open center with a super fine center dot for precise point of aim. Now, speaking of that super fine center dot, that's a mouthful, you can illuminate it as well. The illumination is cleanly integrated into the left side parallax. It's a simple push of a button. You've got multiple settings to get the brightness level that's gonna contrast appropriately with any lighting scenario. This scope is perfect for any elk hunt. In fact, I think it's perfect for nearly every hunt. It's definitely one you're gonna wanna look at. So that sums up my elk hunting optics kit, whether I'm in open country, densely tempered country, bow hunting, rifle hunting. These are the optics I'm using in the elk woods. What optics are you using? Do you have questions about optics for your next elk hunt? Give us a shout, shoot us an email, hit us up on social. We want to answer your questions and hopefully make you more successful in the elk woods.